racist white guy in LA. Three years running. Wow. I'm gonna shake his hand. Give it up for my good friend. He actually writes jokes for me. The hilarious Mr. Chris Oliver. Hello, White Sons. My name is Chris Oliver. Pleased to meet you. Uh, an interesting couple of weeks. Uh, everybody vote in the election? Yeah. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, we, we have uh, legal marijuana now in Colorado and Washington. And it's not like, not California legal, you know. <laughs> So it's legal to smoke it, but first you have to go convince some quack doctor that you have Crohn's disease or whatever. <laughs> it's like full on, walk into a 7-Eleven, buy a pack of uh, filtered 100s joints. You know, kind of things. <laughs> Very happy days. Um, also, every politician who said something horrible about rape lost. Yeah. <laughs> I figure that's got to be good, right? <laughs> Positive development. Uh, even Todd Aiken, you know, uh, who is uh, very much against uh, women who had been raped being able to get abortions, even he lost. Although that was in Missouri, so it might just be that, that he uh, lost the rapist vote. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I'm happy to have some happy news because I'm just really just tired of politics. I'm tired of the way we talk about politics in this country. Like, this, the whole Chick-fil-A uh, thing is a perfect example. You know, a bunch of uh, southern rednecks who decide that they're going to show their support for traditional marriage by eating fried chicken. <laughs> And then there's a bunch of California vegans who are going to show their support for gay marriage by boycotting Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you look at a sales chart for Chick-fil-A through this whole fiasco, it's just basically a story. Sort of <laughs> that's, not, that's not a political protest to just do what you were going to do anyway. <laughs> And then this uh, horrible hurricane uh, going through New York and New Jersey. I was watching the news last week, and there was this poor guy in New Jersey. He was just you know, standing in front of the pile of sticks that used to be his house. And he was saying, I lost everything I've been working my whole life for. And it really upset me because I, I just know that somewhere in L.A. there's some asshole watching that going, Oh, that must feel so freeing. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Denny's. Yeah, I was in Denny's last week. Uh, they have, a, they have a new menu item now. It's uh, called the Mozzarella Stick Sandwich. <laughs> yeah, it's an order of mozzarella sticks between two pieces of bread, just like a sandwich. Just like something you'd eat, except you wouldn't. <laughs> I try to imagine the uh, the board meeting where they decided to go ahead with this. <laughs> the marketing guy, the Don Draper guy. Like, well, as you can see from this chart, 
Obesity is an epidemic in America. <laughs> it's getting worse every year. And we at the Denny's Corporation have decided to address this crisis by giving people what they want. <laughs> what Americans want is to die. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> so let's see if we can tap into that market. <laughs> this is the new fast food. It used to be about how fast can we get the food into your hand. Now it's about how fast can we get you into a coffin. <laughs> We guarantee that we will get you out of this shitty life faster than any other restaurant. <laughs> Are you a fat fuck with a death wish? <laughs> Denny's is here for you. Thank you very much. Ha <laughs> ha!